<laughs> In today's gospel, we read about Lazarus being resurrected. Very beautiful passage where Christ brings his friend back from the grave. And I think it's a symbol as well of what's going to happen to all of us. You know, the friends of Jesus. He's not going to forget about us. He's not going to abandon us. He's going to definitely keep us in mind on Judgment Day and hopefully bring us into that eternal rest that we all have prepared for us. Just a couple stories about my own family. I remember when my dad was dying, I was praying for him. I happened to be in Rome at the time. And it's actually during communion, during one of the masses where I really felt I should pray for him in a special way. I got back to the seminary in Rome and I was told he had died during that mass. He actually died during that time of communion. And my dad's last words on earth were, let's have a moment of silence. I feel like I'm in heaven right now. So beautiful, that was his goal, to reach heaven. Those were his last words. You know, I think to keep that focus. Another beautiful story is, I told this before when my mom was dying, my niece was with her. She was kind of going in and out. And at one point, my niece saw my dad in the room. He had passed away many years before, but she saw him in the form of a, kind of like a ghost in a way. And my dad came up to my mom and said, Jermaine, our kids have taken good care of you. I've come to take care of you. There's a place for us. Whenever you're ready, we can go. Then he sat back down. And what a beautiful thing for a husband to be waiting for his wife and to come down and escort her into heaven. That's the way I see it. They both live really good lives. They were both faithful, very devout Catholics. And finally, I have a tradition of going to Oscoda, Michigan every summer, be with my family. I used to love walking the beach with my mom. A few years ago, a year after my mom passed, I was walking the beach. I remember, you know, I used to hold my mom's hand. We used to look out in Lake Huron. I really missed that. And I felt my mom telling me, Michael, I know this is really hard for you, but trust me, I can do so much more for you up here than I could ever have done for you down there. I told my family that it gave all of us a lot of peace. So that's what the resurrection is about. It doesn't end here. This marathon we're running can be hard. You know, there's beautiful days like today when you're cruising along, feeling really good. Some days you're running injured. Some days it's raining and it's cold, but there is a finish line and there's eternal happiness waiting for us. We just have to persevere with love and lean into God's grace. God bless you.